hi good day to you over there you are welcome back to my channel today my name is fc by ashaolu and this is the musing of the spirit channel a place where we reveal the intent and the mind of the holy spirit to bring you health joy peace and um, encouragement in your day-to-day -day work with the lord as a christian you are welcome back to my channel amen today we'll be looking at bible verses for successful businesses if you're a business owner and you're looking for bible verses to help you nav navigate the ups and downs in your businesses this video is for you but if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please go right ahead click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can always get a lot when i release new videos on this channel if you are ready then let's get started the first uh, scripture we'll be looking at is taken from the book of philippians chapter 4 and verse 19 and it says my god shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by christ jesus if you have one need or the other in your business enterprise the Bible says the Lord will supply it for you. So it is time to look up to God for the supply of those things that you need to make your business a success. Amen. The second Bible verse is taken from the book of Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. And it reads, be careful for nothing. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Be careful for nothing. Don't be anxious. Don't be, don't be uh, anxious and don't be, what is our word now? Don't be anxious. Don't be too hasty to make decisions. The Bible says, be careful for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Don't be anxious, but present your request. Whatever you need to make your business a success, present it to God in prayer. And the Bible says we should do that also with thanksgiving. Amen. The third scripture is taken from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 6. And it reads, The husbandman that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruit. You are the owner of the business, and I tell you, the profit of the business you will also enjoy, according to this Bible verse. Amen. The fourth uh, scripture is taken from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8 and verse 18, and it reads, But thou shalt remember the Lord your God, for it is he that giveth the power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which is swear unto your fathers as it is this day. Mm. The scripture says you remember the Lord your God, for he is the one that gives you power to get wealth. The Lord is the one that is supplying you with strength to make that business a success. So it is good to always remember that the strength for your business, it belongs to the Lord. The strength to make your business a success, it belongs to the Lord. So ask the Lord. For the power to get wet ask for the lord for the power to make that business work whatever is not working present your request to god so that he will give you the power to make wealth from your business amen the fifth bible verse is taken from the book of matthew chapter 6 and verse 33 and it reads for seek you first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. It is very important to always seek the Lord first. Even with your business, let the Lord come first in your decision. Whatever you decide to do, whatever you plan to do with your business, always let the Lord be the first thing you will consider. If it be the first um and be the first in your decision making put the lord before you all the time amen and everything that you need will come unto you amen don't because because you have a business you don't want to serve god again because you have a business no more bible studies because you have a business you don't have time 
to pray every day. That should not be the point. Let the Lord be the first in everything that you, you do. And it will amaze you how the Lord we had every other thing that you need for your business to become a success even unto you. Amen. Hallelujah. So those are the Bible verses that you can use for your business and to, uh, to help you know that the Lord is interested in your business and the Lord wants you to make wealth from your business. The Lord wants your business to grow and how you should present your request before the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you blessed by these verses? Let me know in the comment section which of these Bible verses resonates with you. Hallelujah. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, right now is the time to do so. Press the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will always be notified when I post new videos on this platform. Amen. Hallelujah.